the Bank of Japan pushed ahead with rate hikes while the Federal Reserve embarks on rate cuts, the spread will narrow and the yen will swing higher. This will be a major drawback for export-related industries, which again would negatively affect the market. So I want to show you how one country's currency was able to prop up the entire world using just a spoon. Sounds weird, but if I place the spoon on my hand like this and I start to slowly rub it, it's going to start to look like the spoon is bending. Watch, you see that tail end of it rising? Just by rubbing it, the metal is bending. Just like that, with the power of my mind, it's fully bent. All right, welcome back to your one-stop shop for crypto stuff. We're going to go through all of the on-chain, the news. We're going to go through the long-term, short-term, mid-term trades for Bitcoin. So let's jump straight into this. Don't forget to like the video. Let's go. Let's kick things off with the news here. We had an interview of the Binance CEO, the new CEO, not CZ. We do miss you though, bro. We do miss you. Uh, essentially, what he's saying is he's not going to do an IPO. He's not just he's just not going to do one. All right. And then uh, he's, he's also got a hundred year plan for Bitcoin. So that's pretty cool. Uh, besides that. Yeah, I mean, it's bullish potentially. It could also be really, really bad. We'll see. Looking at the overall markets here, we can see a sea of green, although yesterday was very, very turbulent across the board for a lot of coins. It just seems we ended up uh, in the green at the end of this. So, uh, yes, I would say this, although it looks super bullish, uh, is fairly neutral generally. Fear and greed on a 34 here. Yesterday it was on the 39, so coming down a little bit, but overall a little bit more bullish than we have seen over the past couple weeks. If we're looking at ETFs here, we can see the total inflows yesterday was 64 million. That's pretty good indeed. Very nice, actually. Uh, we can also see the GBTC are actually still in the red. Dirty. Get away from me. We don't like that. What are they doing over there? If we're looking at the energy value, you guys know what happens here, right? Basically, when we get over this red line, we absolutely monstrously bang this towards the upside. I'm talking about 100, 200, 300 thousand dollar Bitcoin all over you, okay? This is going to be ridiculous. We've just got to get over 81 thousand dollars. I know. I know it's pretty far away, but uh, yes, hopefully that does happen and we buy all of the Bitcoin after that. Liquidation heat map, I would say generally pretty neutral, although we are seeing a slight parabolic curve here uh, over the past few candles, I would say over the past day. So with this thing, yeah, looking fairly bullish if we can hold the line and go up from here. If we don't, it's very, very likely we come down to support here around 60K. We'll get into that when we jump into the charts in a minute be sure to check out my patreon it's completely free guys all you got to do is press follow all right i don't know why you haven't done this yet all right it's free no payment no credit card just press follow okay you get a free bitcoin signal every single weekday okay just do it it's good and that's it for your general update okay so let's just jump into the chart starting with the long term you don't, there's nothing that you can have that you can offer me it's a good point joe but prime xbt is something that you want okay i'm talking about a hundred dollars for free if you sign up right now all right let's jump straight into the charts here starting with the long term we can see we can see that we are still inside this triangular structure okay triangular structure and also with that if we do break above 63k we're looking for a massive long not like a huge, just a like a, a mildly massive long, all right? And then from that point, we're going to be banging it up, okay? Banging it up to about 66K, wherever this upper trend line is, that's where we're looking to close the trade, okay? I would definitely take some profit around this 3% mark at 64.8, okay? So from 63 to 64.8 is is a pretty good trade all right and from this point we will uh we will be targeting higher trades if we do break above that 70k region but that's pretty far away all right so we're, we're gonna leave this one out we talked about this yesterday but yes yeah, so if we do break over these important zones we are banging that okay we're looking to bang that uh if we do break down from this zone which i do think is fairly likely but uh, as long as we hold this trend line i can't really be too bearish here okay uh so what we will say is uh yes 57.7 downwards to the bottom of the range 53.7 is really where we're targeting there if we can get down there it's gonna be good it's gonna be nice it's just gonna be all right all right it's gonna be a, we're still we're st i mean if we go down it's not great it's not great for anyone all right but uh if we're short it's okay 
If we are looking at this lower trade here, this is actually on a crashing scenario. So if the Japanese, if the Japanese actually do uh, worse things, then uh, yes, we are. Uh, and it's obviously not their fault. It's it's the US taking advantage of their markets and bankrupting them. Okay, that's that's the truth of it. But uh, if it does come down uh, to the Japanese and they do do things that could crash the entire world market with a spoon, uh, we could probably say that yes, 43. 45k is within range and that is going to be an area where not only we're going to be closing that short for massive amounts of profit but we're also going to be looking for a fantastic long off of this beautiful trend line okay this beautiful trend line that we talk about every video uh, but uh, yes this trend line is what holds up the bull run for the the major cycle here okay as long as we're above this line we are we're gucci okay we're fine uh, and yes we should be expecting to tread along that line to to 100 200 300k okay if we don't and if we don't hold that line uh, it's probably quite likely we spend a few months underneath there uh, just ranging between whatever this uh, where, whenever this rainbow or linear regression or growth curve is uh, we'll range between that and the line until we do break above it with massive massive parabolic aggression okay uh, so that's pretty much the long term okay let's move on to the midterm and then we get into the real degen stuff let's go <laughs> Okay, so midterm here, we are looking for a break of 62.8. If we can do that, we're looking for a 1% trade initiating this measure move. It's going to be nice, all right? If we can do that, uh, yes, there is money to be made. Uh, we will need to get above the 60-minute volume weighted ATR band as well as the 15-minute volume weighted ATR band. These two lines here, okay, if you are... If you are, if you're not keeping up, these two lines here, if we get above them, we go long, okay? Very simple. <laughs> If we do, uh, if we do break down from this point, it's getting a lot worse. This this downwards trade, and the reason for that is because of this pattern. Uh, we go for the most recent wave inside this pattern, and uh, that measure move is just getting smaller and smaller. So we're not really going for this one. That's that's done. It's a done deal. We're not we're not doing it. All right. Uh, what we will say is, uh, you could potentially find a trade from the 15 minute, uh, which is essentially the same trade, but uh, you would be riding it based on moving averages as your stop loss, and then taking profit at these lows rather than going for a measure move right so it's really uh, looking at a potential spillover and crashing scenario and then using this 15 minute volume weighted atr band this green line okay yeah uh then uh, yes if, if if we're below that and we are trending down there's a short there where we just take profit at all these lows right uh, let's move on to the degen zone they still haven't subscribed they've watched all of this video so far but they haven't subscribed I don't know what I have to do. Please. Okay, so this is for the degenerates, okay? This is for the people that love leverage. The people that just gamble out here, okay? Nothing wrong with that, but you are a bit dirty, okay? What we will say is that, uh, yes, if we do break this high here, there is a potential trade. You're going to need VIP3 here. You're going to need to be an advanced trader. But if, if there was a gun to my head and you said, Hamilton, give me a trade. You're dirty. We're, we're looking at this. Okay. It's a 0.5% trade breaking the high. Okay. 61.4 all the way up to 61.7. Uh, and this is a disgustingly risky trade. Okay. So uh, yes, if you want to take that, it's up to you, but I don't advise it, all right? If we are looking towards the downside here, and we talked about this on the uh, the uh, the liquidation heat map, if we do break this kind of parabolic structure here, okay, then uh, potentially you could target a short here uh, once we lose this kind of high, this zone here. But again, incredibly risky. There's a, there's a forest, a jungle, and a tropical island full of trees as support here that could completely block you, okay? Uh, so, yes, what we will say is there is a trade down, but it's incredibly risky. And if you do want to take that, again, that's on you, mate, all right? If you want to gamble, this is the content, all right? But I'm not saying it's going to make you money. This is just... If you are an advanced trader, these are the edges, okay? You're looking at a 55 to 70% win rate uh, on these trades, okay? So, yeah, good luck. <laughs> That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to like it. Be sure to subscribe to it. Leave me a comment with the secret code if you saw it, okay? And uh, yeah, besides that, have a fantastic day. Trade safe out there. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. A tropical island full of trees. As, as, resist, as support here.